G'day, how you all going? This is Ian Harris from Australia here and today I'm going to paint in acrylic on an A4 canvas. A nice evening sky. Look at that, eh? So we'll get that on the easel. I've got him double-sided tape so he won't move. Now we're going to get into the colours here, alright? So we'll just have, and have a look at the colours. I use titanium white turquoise, mid yellow, cinnamon red and some clear retarder medium and also I used a couple of brushes for putting it on and for blending I used a knife, a small fan brush and a bit larger hog bristle fan brush okay I got my white flow paint with a matte pasto mixing with retarder okay we'll give this canvas board which is a 420 by 300 I didn't wet it I want to wet because I can f I want to do a bit of blending and I want everything to move across the palette not the palette the canvas sometimes you might notice me in my speeching it's because I'm getting to be old and whatnot I sometimes call that the palette and the palette the canvas I've made myself a bit of a, uh, a, a technical color chart I did a video on these in my video list there now I'm looking for this sort of color here okay and maybe because I'm going to be using turquoise but I want this sort of darker color in it as well and to remember how I've got it I remember using um, cinnamon red so that and that got this and naturally I add a bit of white to lighten the color so it's how I've created all these colors these two created that with white so on you know like there's a skin color or a skin color with brown in it you can have skin color tones with yellows in it or different tones anyway so this is the color I'm looking for so I know I'm going to need cinnamon red and my turquoise all right let's get into it no need to stuff around here I've got my turquoise and I've got a, a, a mid yellow there okay first I'm getting the turquoise because I've got a horizon line in this so somewhere here this has got to be reasonably dark this horizon line under there's going to be water all right Too easy. this is just going to be a smooth sharp simple painting the way the sun's sitting down in the sky and the water it's it, it makes you like man that's simple but bloody all right you know now I'm looking at my reference picture here and I want that bit of um, yellowy bit going on so I'm gonna pull some of this away all right just the littlest bit of yellow not too much and start mixing in there all right a little bit more because it's going to go greeny but we don't want it too green so I'm stabbing it right in so it's all mixed on there and in my brush not just there and when you go on you got some unmixed bit in there all right a bit more now some of this also I want to mix with some white so I grab the white that's there and I'm gonna get some white into it all in the brush so we've got these two different now we're just going to cross hatch this with that color and I'm only using one side of the brush because this side here I want to add more again so Okay, that's pretty much it. I don't want to get too technical there. Uh, where else? I could probably blend that out there. All right. Now, throw that down. Grab your blending brush and blend all this in. This is if you want it. This isn't really a beginner's one. It's just a simple painting that I like and I want to share with you people. And it's something that um, people that understand colors and, you know, certain subjects not just a 
lovely looking picture it's got some values to it can enjoy this subject and come along and paint with it with me all right that's why i want to do this one see these these colors are subtle but they're there man they're there Right, I'm grabbing the darker of the two now there's not much there but there's enough and we want some sort of darkness here and here that's about it throw that down wipe your blending brush and blend this down into these very softly and beautifully as you do it easy as you do it I should say wipe that brush <coughs> because what I'm going to do is come back and get some white in here and put some brighter colors in the middle now I'm getting some of the turquoise again and some of the cinnamon red now we don't want too much we've got to add a little bit to this as we go just get a mixing knife because we want this just darker than what it was deep darkness that was a different darkness this is something else that I'm looking for something dark like that I'll put some retarder in there as well because this is going to be blended as well so it'll give that that nice smooth wet sharp transition look when it's blended I'm putting this onto my hog bristle fan brush because I seem to have more direct control where I want it because um, oh that's a bit thick there I want it at the top and this is the the darker top area so we're going to blend this down into the middle bit there I might have to get some of that off the canvas wipe it on my paper towel and then go again and then we'll get this where they meeting that's where we want them to be nice and soft wipe your brush again it's very important so you get dots there you can blend them out here I should I'm just going to brush it in like that okay quickly drop it and quickly blend it just to give some darker values up the top here now this is going to be a white sun in the horizon so you can either have it as a moon setting down or your sun either either I'm just going to clean my brush go and see what Steve's doing while I get the white ready Now this white, I'm chiseling it onto my fan brush. This is a structured white. Now I want just the littlest bit to contaminate it. The yellow, see, that's pretty powerful. I want a bit more white. Just so it's not pure white. All right. Now we've sort of come across here. So I'm going to blend this as I go. Put it down. Grab your blending brush. I didn't clean it. I might have to quickly clean it. We'll see how we go. Just so this is softly illuminating the sky a bit more. Now a bit more down here. I love this painting it's nice and subtle but so beautiful to look at now someone posted this on my beginners request submissions and I cannot find who posted it I would really love to mention you and give you a big thank you now a lot of people as I know do not own the paintings that they're submitting they've just used them as a reference but that's okay I'm looking for beginners instead of you beginners doing all the advanced video paintings of other people 
I thought I'd turn the tables and do some of your stuff, whether it's a rendition of somebody else's or not. You've seen what you've done, and you get an idea of how someone else can do it. Okay, I think that's enough of the white with the yellow in there, okay? Now I want a bit more. I'm going to clean my fan brush. Now I have just the white on my fan brush, just white, because I want to round about here. Nice and glary and a bit more whiter than that yellow. So I'll quickly get that there. Hopefully I can quickly blend it into there. So it's a different glare to that one we had the yellow in. Wipe your brush all the time. Make sure you wipe it all the time. Bit more in there. Yeah, that's it. See, I'm twisting my brush as I'm doing this. I'm not just leaving it in, in one lazy position and hoping for the best. If you're going to do a painting and hope for the best, you've got Buckley's. All right. Now, how's that looking in my monitor? That's looking okay. It's simple. I don't want to get too carried away. Grab some of the darker colour that I had the red in. And I'll... Because I want this reasonably dark. Because we're going to use this colour again up here for a cloud. So we'll quickly blend that. Rub like that. That's it. That'll do it. All right, because we're going to have water here. Or I'm grabbing my round sponge and I'm twisting it into the paint so it's on the whole surface there. And I just want to put the sun slash moon in its spot, let's say, about there. Okay, now I'm going to twist it. That way it, it's getting the, the colour right there. So what I'm going to do now is blow dry this. All right, I'm just pouncing that on there. Actually, these do have a name. They're called a pouncer, all right? I discovered that from listening to one of um, Cinnamon's videos. She was using them in her tulips. And I always knew they had a name. I'm bad at remembering names. All right, that's our sun, all right? I'm using my smaller fan brush with just... The turquoise now I'm going to come across from about here you'll notice I haven't blended that because I'm having something in front of it we're having a, a straight line pretty much like this reasonably sharp there okay I'm just looking over there and it's coming up here a bit something like that all right what's that it's just a simple what that brush and reload it again it's just a simple base of a cloud I'll, I'll get the top of it sort of rolling like a cloud something like that and maybe a bit higher up at this end here and coming off the actual page it's coming off okay all right now clean this brush all right I'm getting my white my good structured white and I'm just going to slowly come across the top of this wipe your fan brush straighten the edge of it actually come in nice and close so you can have a better look we just um, dancing this white across the top of all of this turquoise there now some bits of it we can blend down into that turquoise not too much for those of you who want to do this painting. Try and keep this reasonably thin up there, not too thick and blodgy. It's sort of got that, looks a bit like a wave to me, but anyway. Now this bit here can be sort of blended into the turquoise a bit and tapered into the atmosphere there, just like that. And then you can blend that down into that turquoise somewhere here, just around where the sun is, all right? And then as you get over here, we'll sort of stop. Yeah, that's it. <coughs> Wiping the brush, I've got 
hardly anything on there. Get that out there. Okay. Hardly anything on there. Virtually puts mist or dew if you have a, if you wanted to put dew over a grass field or something you barely fill your brush up with the paint it's a very easy process to do any beginner can pull it off it's just knowing that it can be done that's all alrighty I've blow dried this and I'm gonna mask it and then start doing the water okay so also any of those that want to follow the golden zebra I did I never did a YouTube video of that because it was such a time consuming process but if you go to my Facebook page I'll leave a link to my Facebook page and in my go to my photos then into my albums then go into my videos and there's different videos of it there's a few video files of this one getting done if you're interested in following this zebra getting done you're more than welcome to pop in there and have a sticky beak at that all right now for the bottom I've got my white impasto with retarder in it we're gonna get this done in white because we're starting over again with another blending process we want some colors to merge nice and soft and deep looking so we'll just get the base on there I have my darker color I mixed up with the cinnamon red with retarder in it that's going at the top of my horizon line here so I'm gonna push it onto the canvas there and I'll get a bit more in there there's not much on the brush it's too okay getting it on there and I'm gonna come forward get a bit more on there I don't like this impasto paint for a putter on it but it'll get there okay we're getting that on there coming forward I'm gonna wipe that brush because I want to blend this bottom out a bit because I want to add the actual turquoise now all right I've cleaned my brush I'm gonna come from the bottom here get it on come up and then I'm going to slowly turn my brush sideways and bring that into that darker color there all right I need to wipe that brush now because it's too full okay and that's it anyone out there that doesn't have turquoise color see this is a turquoise color here you can mix it it's quite easy to mix and I've, I've even accidentally found it on my color chart that I made up so I used a phalo blue and a mid yellow now you mix them and you'll get this color here the more yellow you put in it the more greener it'll get now you can add white to lighten it up as well but that's a basic turquoise color all right I'll get this um, tape off so we can finish this off I'm just gonna highlight some of the water there nice and carefully I, I don't like that paint I put under there because it's not a good quality I've got a feeling it might peel it off if I go this way it's definitely gonna peel it off but the safest way is to come back on it anyway I just got to. oh god damn I've got to fix up this sun going into the water a bit as well I'm gonna knife it up on me spread it out like butter wipe your knife load your knife up and we'll get some highlights under here under the moon there wherever it's the Sun or the moon there's not much out there but I'm just gonna put what I think should go there I like a bit of texture in my paintings all right wipe that spread it out like butter really even okay wipe your knife get it on an angle and just scrape it through and 
you'll have a nice roll of paint on your knife. Okay, so a lot of this now is pretty much out this way. I've got to tell you too, with a knife, right, I'm going to show you something. See, see the head on the knife? It's on an angle. I've done this mistake, so I'm telling you so you don't do it. I've, I'm assuming this is straight, which it is, and I've put them on there, but this is tapered down on an angle, right? So in hindsight, I was putting them on crooked, and when I looked back, I thought, oh, no. So make sure this tapered edge is level with your horizon, not your handle, okay? It's a little trap you can get caught up in, and it'll, it'll annoy you. All right, I'm just going to finish this off. It's a nice long strokes there alrighty that was fun wasn't it eh let's um, put a frame on this down here I've got a frame see how she looks oh look at that that's beautiful nice simple easy job okay I enjoy that I hope you enjoyed it as much as me tell a friend if you like what I just done today and tell everybody if you don't alright I love you all very much Keep your messages coming. Any questions, follow me on Facebook, all right? Love you. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you.